These are the new ProPeak light therapy glasses that just hit the market. And unlike all of the other pairs we've tested, these are actually glasses. They're pretty cool looking with a sleek black wraparound design and a pair of blue lenses that certainly make them look effective. But are they? We put them through our usual testing and you'll be surprised at what we found, so stick around for that. In order to use the ProPeak glasses, just press the inside button and they'll remain on for 30 minutes before automatically shutting off. A full charge should last around four to five sessions, at which point you'll need another two hours to recharge them. Charging is done via micro USB and it does come with a small cable. In addition to the glasses, it comes with a nice carrying case much like the one the Luminet comes with. It's a nice case that fits the glasses well and would be useful for traveling. They also come with a soft pouch that conveniently holds the extra amber lenses that these come with. That's right. If you didn't know, the Pro Peak doubles as a pair of blue blocking glasses. In order to swap out the lenses, you just have to push inwards on the outside edge and they'll pop right out. It definitely felt like I was gonna break them the first couple times I tried this and pushing them back in definitely feels worse. But alas, they did not break. As cool as this feature is, an obvious con is that you have to swap them out every day when you want to use them. And you have to wipe off the finger smudges that are inevitably going to get on the lenses throughout this process. I'm not sure how many people are going to want to do that, but I could see this being theoretically useful for trips as you could eliminate one pair of glasses. Now, finally, onto my favorite part, the testing. Before we get into testing the light, I was really curious what kind of light was blocked by the amber and blue lenses themselves. If we take a look at the amber lenses, we see that they work pretty well. While they let through a small amount of blue and green light, they certainly work well enough to be considered blue blockers. But what about the blue lenses? These are meant to be worn during light therapy, so do they help with that? It definitely doesn't seem like it. We measured the blue lenses against a full spectrum light source and we saw a circadian light reduction of 20% and a reduction of lux or total brightness by 35%. As you can see, there's definitely a drop in blue light across the board and a rather large dip across the yellow band. I mean, just looking at my softbox here, it's definitely dimmer and less stimulating with these glasses on. I fail to see how a pair of clear lenses wouldn't have made more sense here given the purpose of these glasses. So that's fail number one. And fail number two, the light itself. And this is where things get a little sketchy. These glasses work by emitting blue light from four LEDs from the top band of the glasses. It's a great design really, but they don't emit enough light. You see, the Amazon listing claims that these glasses emit 125 lux at 468 nanometers, which would be very blue. Now this would be both impressive and effective, but if we take a look at the official website specifications, they claim they emit only 35 lux. Wait, these are two completely different numbers, and it sounds like we have a mystery on our hands. This sounds like a job for Henry. Equipped with a lab-grade photospectrometer, Henry, our mannequin head, is fully equipped to handle this mystery. So what did he find? Well, the ProPeak is emitting a measly 14 lux at 462 nanometers. Certainly not 35, and most definitely not 125. These are very dim lights. In fact, we ran the spectral data through the LHRC's circadian stimulus calculator and in order to hit their minimum recommended dose of circadian light, you'd have to wear these for three hours, not 30 minutes. To better illustrate just how dim these are, here's a graph comparing the AO and the ProPeak side by side. I mean, that's just sad. In fact, it makes me so sad that I'd really appreciate you guys hitting the like button to cheer me up. Thanks. So as cool as these are, this is not a light therapy device that I would recommend anyone spend their money on. There are much better options out there, such as the AO or the Luminet. So if you're in the market for one, I would check out our reviews for those. If you guys are interested, we have a full written review of these, as well as all of the other light therapy glasses we've done. So you can check on the website or the YouTube channel for more. Thanks, bye.